Hello and welcome back to another best of video. Today we want to talk about the top three surveillance NASs to buy at the end of 2020. Now for those of you that have been looking at network attached storage solutions to create your very own dedicated home or business NVR network video recorder, chances are that as soon as you whittle it down to the right brand for you, you're suddenly met with a huge array of portfolio solutions and looking at them going, well, which one of these? I don't know, because you're right to get confused. They've all got effectively the same software, but it's the hardware that's inside and outside that will dictate its utility in your own home or office environment. Pretty much all of the top tier NAS brands right now all include their own dedicated surveillance software. The ability to attach multiple IP cameras in your home or office environment and then monitor them directly either from a standard desk in the same network environment or remotely when you're on holiday with your mobile phone. They've got lots of client apps and the ability to attach cameras from many, many companies. Hick Vision, Edimax, um, uh, Axis, Rio Link, Anker, all of those camera brands that we talked about on the channel generally have cameras supported by these NAS brands. But a lot of you buy a NAS not just for surveillance, you're using it for a bunch of other things and when you buy the device, surveillance is one of the ways in which you maximise your investment. But then you end up finding out that it's the thing that it does the most. It's the device that ends up recording in the background at all times and actively writing two discs all the time so what was once not a priority then becomes the priority so buying the right NAS for surveillance is very very important but how did we choose the right solutions for today what made us pick these solutions for the right surveillance NAS to buy at the end of 2020 in order to qualify for this list and be considered for a surveillance NAS of the year each one of the solutions needs to tick the following boxes. First and foremost, it had to have been released before October 31st, 2020. It has to be available for sale, that you could buy it and receive it. This can't be any kind of potential vaporware. It can't be a solution plan for next year. It has to be something that's available in the bulk of the world and has to be in stock before then. It doesn't have to be released in 2020. It could have been released in the last few years and it can still be considered, but it has to be available for sale. Next, it has to be a desktop solution. If it's not a desktop solution, then we're not considering. I consider um, rack mounts to be hugely enterprise equipped. I think they are far more about business, and there is a whole business and uh, rack mount section coming to these videos soon. But I'm only considering desktop solutions because I still think if you look at the wider NAS market, Desktop is still largely the dominant force for a lot of buyers, being their first, second, or tenth NAS. So that's why we are considering. Also, they have to arrive with at least two years of manufacturer's warranty because we're not going to consider a solution that after one year, if it breaks, the brand goes, we're not having anything to do with that. Also, they have to be hardware and software combined solutions, which in terms of surveillance NASs is a lot more important than usual because a lot of NASs will arrive with a GUI, a GUI that allows them to you to interact with the device and you know deal with photos and videos and watchplex and stuff like that. But when it comes to surveillance, it's extra important that you have got a detailed and clear graphical user interface that could be accessed remotely and locally via mobile apps, via a desktop PC, ultimately with true access. And another one to do with software there is I'm only looking at surveillance solutions that have at least four camera licenses included. I will not look at solutions that don't have, um, you know, that have two camera licenses because although the majority of NAS solutions arrive with surveillance software in QBR Pro and Surveillance Station and they arrive with camera licenses, more and more solutions we see arrive with just two camera licenses. And what they see that as, if you're a home user, you have one camera out the front, one out the back. But if you want more cameras, you have to support the software by buying lots of licenses. I'm looking at solutions which are being purchased for surveillance. Ergo, they should have the licenses at the beginning. So I'm only looking at solutions that have got at least four camera licenses on the doors. And yes, you may have to buy more, and they're normally 30 to 40 quid a pop. If you get them in packs, they're cheaper. But four camera licenses, minimum. So... Who are my top three surveillance NASs to buy at the end of 2020? Well, before we get there, let's talk about the one that almost made it, the one that got the participation medal, the honourable mention, and that is the QNAP Guardian QGD 1600P. Now, 
I love this system. It is a combined switch and NAS, but unfortunately it didn't make the cut. It can't make the top three because although it is a very, very good solution and it has a number of licenses included, it's got PoE port, it is a great NAS for surveillance. For me, the fact that it only has two, two and a half inch SATA bays is a little disappointing. I love this device and I've talked about it at length and I will champion it to the hilt. But if you're looking for the perfect NAS for surveillance, you're gonna have to use external storage. Two times two and a half inch storage bays in this day and age, when it comes to surveillance and cameras being on 24 seven to me is very, very limiting. So therefore I'm not prepared really to add it as the best, best, best surveillance out there. It's very good for surveillance, but I think that lack of um, like four bays or larger RAID support for me is a limiting factor. And that's why it gets the honorable participation medal, but it's not in my top three. Let's get to the juicy stuff. Let's talk about the best three. Um, uh, first one is more of a cost-effective solution of the three for surveillance users. It is the QNAP TS453D. It's an Intel quad-core powered NAS, the J4125 processor. Quad core 2.2 to 2.7 gigahertz per core. It's got 4 gig of DDR4 memory that can be upgraded to 8. It's got HDMI out 60 frames per second 4K. It's got a PCIe upgrade slot if you need it and 2.5 GBE ports as standard. Why is this in my list? Well, it arrives with 8 camera licenses in QVR Pro, which is already really, really good off the bat. Eight camera licenses. It's got two surveillance softwares in QVR Pro and Surveillance Station. It's even got webcam support over USB and five USB ports on it if you want to go down that road for a localized point of camera there. It also supports KVM keyboard video mouse, which allows you to attach, again, a keyboard, a mouse, and a visual interface of HDMI. So not only can you access all of your cameras via a dedicated camera feed in QVR Pro with a client application on your PC or Mac system, as well as via the network and the internet via uh, mobile apps um, for your iOS or Android device, but you can also directly create a standalone surveillance system with the full camera feed, while at the same time the NAS being used for all the day-to-day -day backups and multimedia and file accesses and VMs and stuff, and other users accessing the device remotely. It is contained, but incredibly fluid in its means of access and utility. And that's why arriving at about between 525 to 550 quid, if you shop around, including the tax, it is a damn fine surveillance NAS, as well as a great middle ground for lots of other utilities and processes in your home and business environment too. So what's next? Well. Bit of a tricky one this this is a synology the dva3219 now why am i saying it's a tricky one because despite the fact that it is the best synology surveillance nas to buy right now from them i also know the follow-up is arriving if not immediately then in the coming weeks it is the follow-up is the dva3221 and as it's not available it's not allowed in this list, unfortunately. But the 3219 is so, so similar to it that by an area of contention, although we're not talking about the DVA 3221, everything I'm about to say applies to that as well. So why do I pick the DVA 3219 from Synology? Put simply, it's those letters DVA, Deep Video Analytics. It is the first Synology to arrive with a graphics card pre-installed. This GPU card working with the Intel CPU inside that arguably is a little lackluster but does feature the PCIe lanes for the rest of the system. This four bay allows you to not only utilize all of the general applications from Disk Station Manager DSM 6.2 with seven right on the horizon, it all, you know, uh, multimedia, Synology Moments, Synology Mouse, Synology Drive, Synology Office, Synology Chat, all of those great apps that replace your third-party apps, as well as virtualization support and support of multi-tiered backups in um, Active Backup Suite and Hyper Backup. On top of that, no other Synology NAS currently take, uh, utilizes Synology Surveillance Station application better than this. It's got all of the alerts. It's got a pile of camera licenses included, more than two, I'm pleased to say, like the rest of the Synology range. On top of that, it also features 
that DVA, the AI Deep Learning Support. And the reason that's important is because normally you have cameras dotted around your home or business environment recording 24 seven. Now, you might have them only recording an alert, so someone walks past the camera or uh, you know a line is tripped and then it starts recording and then you get an alert, which is good, but still you can get false positives. You can get movement of wind, trees in the wind. You can get movements of a car past the window and not someone trying to break in, which can get super annoying, particularly on a windy day when you're getting an alert every five seconds because the tree outside is going crazy. DVA, what that does is it in real time analyzes what it can see. So it understands what a car is, what a cat is, what a dog is, and therefore the alerts can be tailored. So examples would be that you're outside your house and you don't want to know when a tree moves or a car goes by, you want to know when a person walks up to the door. Whether they are male, female, adult or child, it can make all the difference that you want the alerts to be tailored. Or you have a camera that is a busy street and you want to know when a certain kind of vehicle, be it a bike, a car, a van, enters the field. Or if an item arrives but then doesn't move, the very opposite of those alerts, where you want to have a parking bay that's going to have cars going past, but if a car goes into it and doesn't move, then you want to know. If a bag is placed, you want to know when an item that shouldn't be somewhere um, uh, suddenly appears when it doesn't move for a while, you want to know. If a person enters an area, a field of view, and you, they shouldn't be there, but they're allowed there, you want to know. If you want to count the number of people, all of these things are built in with DVA, deep video analytics, and that deep AI learning that the Synology needs that card to do. Now, going back to the, what I said at the top, this 1,650 pound NAS was released at the tail end of 2019. Why am I not talking about the follow-up, the DVA3221? Well, first and foremost, it's not available to buy at the end of October, so it immediately loses any privilege to be in this list. But what I will say is that follow-up coming soon does arrive with a better GPU card inside. The rest of the system is largely the same from the CPU down to the rest of the hardware architecture, but the improved GPU card inside means better DVA performance. And if you are watching this video into 2021 and you're still thinking about buying the Synology DVA system, which again, I recommend, you're gonna be looking at the 3221. So just bear that in mind for the future, guys. Now. What is my third choice? What is the third best surveillance NAS right now to buy at the end of 2020? Because remember, this isn't a hierarchy of best to worst. These are just three different options that bring their own thing to the party. Well, it's a NAS I've talked about on the channel already of quite a lot, the TVS 872XT from QNAP. This was released quite a long time ago. I'd say quite a lot, a year and a half, give or take. And this Thunderbolt equipped NAS and 10GBE just ticks so many boxes and it's why you keep hearing it in my best of lists. The reason being, in the case of surveillance at least, that CPU inside, which is an Intel 8th generation, generation i5 6 core processor, has got great GPU support, it's got great throughput all the way, it's got multiple LAN ports, it's got 10G, 1G, um, it's got the ability to add more ports to the PCIe. It's got HDMI 2.0 on the rear for that standalone and basically brings you everything that was available on that TS453D I mentioned earlier, only much, much more. That CPU enables far, far more cameras at a high, uh, higher capacity resolution and alert level and handling in QVR Pro. It also arrives with support, um, a greater support, I might add, of the AI services in QVR, um, QVR Pro, such as QVR Tiger and Face Tiger. These are object recognition, facial recognition, and there are lots of add-ons for the surveillance system from QNAP that are not supported on a lot of their lower tier devices, which are just present on that of the 872XT. This system arrives at 1900 quid and it is an eight bay solution. So a huge amount of storage. And although it can of course be utilized for all of the myriad of applications in QTS right now, um, I would add that although it can do all of those very, very well, it is inc incredible in surveillance. It, it, you really have to push this device 
um, to see any kind of lag out of it. And with the uh, graphical user interface available to you uh, via client applications, although not available um, in the full uh, feed and control level via the web browser like it is on the Synology surveillance platform, QVR Pro on this device has got all of those features. Facial, um, face counting, object counting, and DVA features and functionality without a GPU card. It's able to do that with its own Intel CPU there, and a huge amount of power behind it, and up to 64 gig of memory means that not only can you utilize a good percentage of this device in the background, for general multimedia use, business use, file handling, uh, virtual machine use, containers and more, but also an enormous amount of hardware left over to be utilized for surveillance. And it just is the perfect middle ground. And it's why the 872 XT just keeps appearing on these best of lists as a NAS. And I will continue to recommend it, I'm sure, into 2021. Those are my top three NASs for surveillance to buy at the end of 2020. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember there's a link in the description to the full breakdown and selection process of these NASs. We talk more a lot about the disclaimers, um, why these three NASs were picked in a lot more detail and their original reviews and why they are what they are and why we recommend them. Do click like if you enjoyed the video, click subscribe to learn more. Stay tuned for more best ofs coming very shortly. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.